All right, I'm out here on a uh, cloudy Monday afternoon, around 3.12 in the afternoon, and I'm doing a video on my Nissan truck. Here it is right here. It's a 91, and it is in pretty good shape, sort of, I guess, for a 91. Minus the fact that the uh, frame needs to be repaired, but uh, that's not uncommon for 91s. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep this under 10 minutes if I can. Uh, here, I'm gonna show you to show you around a little bit. Shit, there we go. This is the interior, obviously. My aftermarket tack, since it doesn't have one, as you can tell. Uh, five speed. And uh, yep, yeah, that's pretty much it. I get pedal covers. Uh, I have one for the clutch that, uh, you know, didn't want to stay on there because I think broke. Anyway, let's see. I'll show you the back real quick. There's the back right there. There, got a lot of leaves and gas tank. Just because I randomly run out of, run out of gas. <laughs> With one of my neighbors over there. Hope they don't know what's around there. Alright, so. Now, the main reason I did this video is because I have a question for Dave. For, from Dave's farm, from his channel. I've seen a lot of his videos, they're really good, and uh, trying to follow some, some of his advice as far as how to make a good YouTube video goes. Um, uh, but unfortunately, as you can tell, it's cloudy out, so it's not much sunlight. Uh, now, my question is, anyway, back to my question. My question is, I'm going to be, well, my friend and I are going to be repairing the, uh, exhaust after we try to repair the frame if we can uh, now we're gonna be doing you know fixing the exhaust leaks and what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna get another muffler but my question is because I've seen your video on you know your compression video on for two cylinder and four cylinder engines and as you can see well barely but The muffler is pretty rusty, it's got a hole in it. I'm thinking about changing it. Now, if I change it, will that can will that affect its, you know, well, it probably, obviously it will affect the, uh, the back pressure to some extent, but will that affect my engine's performance, like as far, well, you know, as far as torque goes and shit like that? Because I don't want to mess that up in any way. Because, you know, it's a truck and it eats all the torque it can get. Anyway, let's uh, let me show you the engine real quick. The hell's my little? Here it is. With my alternator, my dead alternator. This is not from this truck. It's from a friend of mine's car, from my 1994 Mazda Protege. And he killed it. I don't know how he did. He just did. He just killed it. I'm gonna put it behind the tire so the truck doesn't roll away. I know it looks like we're on flat ground, but um, we're kind of not. Well, we are, but not enough to keep it from rolling <laughs> so let me just get in there real quick just make sure I'm not gonna hit my nearest car that would not be good there we go damn it alright crap my fingers are always in the way every time Alright, so now I push the clutch in. You know, it's a little bit of rollage. Just a little bit. Not a lot. Yeah, no, my shoes squeak a lot when I push the clutch in. That's because they just do. Five speed. Hell yeah, four wheel drive. See? I'm pretty sure all you YouTubers know what a four wheel drive sh shifter looks like. I'm just showing it off anyway. Anyway, now let's go look at the engine. It is a KA24E, which is the same engine, I believe, Dave, that your Nissan Stanza has. Except it's probably more like the uh, the uh, 240SX version. I think they have a little bit more, yeah, yeah KA24E, the 240SX, has a little bit more horsepower. I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on that. Camera down so I can open the hood up. Oh crap, it would help if I actually had 
Let's see. Good old K24E. Runs really good. Good little engine, I think. For a four cylinder, it's got a lot of power, too. Yeah. The hell is that? No idea what the hell that noise was. Probably just an like, acorn hitting something. I don't know. I don't think I have any acorn trees around here anyway. But anyway, let's start the engine up. Alright, so, now what I'm gonna do. Now that I've pushed that little interlock inter switch right there, which allows me to start it without pushing it much. Which is good for me, that way I can do one of those, uh, you know, one of those uh, outside the truck starts kind of things. Now the thing is with that, you gotta be careful, you gotta be careful because, sorry about that, I was trying to turn the steering steer wheel so I can unlock it. You gotta be careful that it's not in gear when you do that, because this thing will drag you down the street. I haven't done that yet. I'm just waiting for that to happen. Anyway, just put the interlock switch. No. Mm, yeah, that window hurts me every time I do that. Anyway, now. Let's the engine up. Let me give you a little bit of engine shot. Try to open it a little bit here without putting this car. Okay, there we go. Ow. Alright, so. Here we go. There's a lot of wind from that fan right there. There's a lot of wind right there. Fun's good though. Oh, let's zoom out real quick. There we go. Fun's pretty good. Let's see how that air is. Yep. Yeah. Good old fashioned locking hubs there. I think it's pretty good as long as you remember to lock them in the winter. So that's, that's pretty much it. I'll give you one more shot of shutting down, and I'll put this on YouTube later on. Hopefully, this time I have audio. I did this yesterday, and I didn't have any audio. I don't know why. Let's hope I have audio. Obviously, I'm speaking, but if the camera doesn't pick it up, that doesn't help much. So. Shot of shutting down there. There we go. And there you go. There you have it. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. And please do not leave any nasty comments because I'm really getting tired of that. I'm not saying I'm not gonna mention who it is, I'm just just saying, just please don't do it. Alright? Alright, so you guys have a good day.